What's up everybody? Derek here with The Bass Factory. Today we're going to be doing a really cool experiment. We're going to be dipping our plastics in yellow or red dye and seeing which one comes out better in our little water clarity test we have back here. This is really going to be at your own discretion on what you think looks the best at the end of this video or throughout. Um, I know in the past I've dyed the tips of my plastics and it seems to have caught fish. I've, basically what were case studies where I'd be in the front and my buddy would be in the back and we'd switch back and forth and one of us would tip the, the dye on the plastic on the tail and one of us would catch more fish than the other and I don't know if that was always the case but in a lot of cases that's the way it would work out whenever we'd be fishing up shallow and those fish were moved up but I've got a white brush hog I've got just kind of a watermelon brush hog here and then I've got a strike king drop shot worm that kind of has that green pumpkin on one side and kind of that watermelon uh, the greener on the other side so we're going to dip each one of these in this fluorescent yellow and this red and then dip it into this water and see which one comes out to looking the best. Alright, when you do this you have to be extremely careful with these dyes because these, this can run somebody's boat. I know I just barely spilt a little bit of my hand so it's, I mean, as you can see it's on my hand right there and that's <laughs> exactly where you can see it. So you got to be really careful. And let's do this Strike King one in the red first. Just kind of put it in there and I usually hold it for a couple seconds and then pull it back out. Can't really see it on that one at all. It's not really absorbing into these Strike King worms. Now we're going to do this Spike It. I don't know. I, I would think this Spike It would maybe come out a little bit more than the, the red, but yeah, as you can see, it definitely took a lot better on that one. And then our white, our white brush hog. Yeah, there we go. Dip it down in there. There's our other brush hog with the red. Yep, there it is. Okay, we're going to start off with the Strike King here. And as you can see, we've got that yellow dye on there. So let's dip it in the clear one first. Doesn't really come out too much. I don't think this one really helps this bait, this particular kind of plastic composition too well. Yeah, it's just not, but if you were to have it as a fluorescent with the black light, it would definitely come out. As far as UV is concerned, Z-Man products, I know they make strictly a lot of UV baits. I believe it's Z-Man. So I don't know if you would actually dip that in all the way if that would help it with that kind of plastics if you believe in that that stuff helping but I don't know here's here's our red right here it it didn't really come out when I first pulled it but now you can really see how much darker it is right around in here in the middle it's really kind of dyed it, that out so let's see in our clear water oh yeah you can definitely see that red more visibly Yeah, look at that. That's on that green. You can see the difference in that. Bring it up to the edge. Yeah, that, that red in that darker water definitely looks like it's helping. Definitely. You'd have in that water you'd have to put it on that, that fish's nose basically for it to see it. But alright, now we got our white brush hog with that fluorescent yellow on there. 
As you can see, that stuff shines so bright. Glows. All right, let's put it in the clear water. Definitely, you can see a difference in that one. Look at that, look how it shines. All right, in there, that definitely helps out in that water. Yeah, not as much in that water clarity. I'd have to say that the red almost seems like, we'll see here in just a second, but I'm thinking that the red might come out better. It, it just in that muddier water, it just all kind of looks whitish. Now we've got the white brush hog with that red on there, that fluorescent red. Now let's try this one in here. Wow, that actually looks really, that's almost like pink when it gets in the water like that. The second one. Definitely, definitely you can see that one. All right. Yeah, it shows up a lot better than that yellow. All right, the muddiest. Get it up to the edge and it, whenever I had that, that white one with the yellow on it, that one almost looked all white. You can definitely tell the difference in that one. So I'm starting to kind of see a pattern come together here. All right, we've got our watermelon brush hog here. And you can see where the fluorescent line is on it right there. All right, let's dip it in this clear water. Little bit of difference. You can tell where it's on that greener part of that plastic, how much more it pops. All right, the second one, the, it's starting to kind of disappear. Yeah, it's definitely disappearing. It's the blacker shades that are showing up on it. Yep. All right, and our last one. This is the watermelon with that red on it. All right. Let's put it in the clear. That comes out really well. Yeah, you can see that one really good in that water. Definitely see the difference to where it's actually at on that plastic. And then here's the most muddy water. It just kind of disappears it's so muddy in there the darker shades of that plastic would show up more but still it does better than that that yellow does so I don't know well this was a pretty cool little experiment to do you know I, I put a lot of thought into this spike and glow stuff and I used to use this stuff all the time but I never used the red as much as I did the the, the yellow but Overall, I mean, between these two, they are so fluorescent when you put these black lights on them. I mean, just look at that. They just shine, especially that one. Look at that. That looks like a glow light. But they shine. But as far as with the water clarities are concerned, I know you may have seen through the video what you may think looks the best. But for me, if I was to go with these white brush hogs, I would have to go with this one probably for a little bit more clearer water and then once you start getting into that stained water I would actually go to this red whenever I would dye the tip so I've kind of this would actually help me out possibly with some of the fishing that I do uh, depending upon the water clarity and if I'm dyeing the tips or not so it might give you that little bit of extra something to catch those fish whenever you dye the tips and you don't just have to do this for bass fishing you could do this for crappie fishing, pan fishing, anything that you're using plastics for, you could dye these tips with this stuff. You know, if you try this out and you go fishing, let me know if you catch any or what you catch or if it actually helps you. Let me know in the comments section and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one.